stop sex trafficking, you've got to go to the source, the people and businesses who might make money from it. That is the focus of a first-of-its-kind case in Georgia to empower survivors of sex trafficking. A group of survivors is suing for Atlanta hotels they say profited from and participated in sex trafficking. Joe Hankey talked with the attorneys behind this federal lawsuit filed today. In the series of lawsuits, the women are named as Jane Doe 1 through 4, and at times between 2010 and 2016, they say sex traffickers held them against their will at four Atlanta area hotels. Now their attorneys are taking a unique approach as they file a lawsuit in federal court. It's a very delicate area where you're, you're dealing with people who have been severely traumatized, who have been through things that I honestly cannot even imagine, and just every parent's worst nightmare. Attorneys Jonathan Tons, Trinity Hundred, Mark, and Patrick McDonough say the sex trafficking happened at four hotels. Red Roof Inn off Windy Hill Road near SunTrust Park, Hometown Studios off Peachtree Boulevard in Chambly, La Quinta Inn near North Point Mall, and Extended Stay America near Perimeter Mall on Hammond Drive. We have clients that were sold at these hotels over and over and over, five, 10, 15, sometimes 20 times in a single night. And multiple clients were sold at a single night at a single hotel, and this happened repeatedly. The plaintiffs say the hotels that knew of the abuse in their rooms did nothing to stop it and received money to ignore it. Hotel employees are accused of notifying traffickers if someone called police or guests saw heavy foot traffic around rooms. The fact that a lot of these hotels and these brands knew that this was going on and turned a blind eye and didn't do anything about it and knew that these women were being beaten and raped and sold and just let it happen under their roof and with full knowledge that it was going on is just horrific to think about. In February, the Super Bowl put a spotlight on Atlanta's hotels and sex trafficking. Stings led to more than 169 arrests. The attorneys handling these unrelated lawsuits say sex trafficking has been a long time issue at the hotels named in the suits and many others in Atlanta. They say their case is a first in Georgia using a 10 year old federal law accusing defendants of knowing of the abuse and benefiting financially with traffickers paying them off. The law depends on on people bringing cases, on survivors being brave enough to come forward, on survivors being able to talk through their claims. Two of the hotels are part of Red Roof Inns Incorporated. When asked about the suits, I was told the company condemns human trafficking and child exploitation and not complying with the law goes against company policy. The company would not specifically discuss the lawsuits, though, because I'm told they're still active. All right. It could set a precedent, Joe. Thank you.